And I know it would have been a lot of groundwater with the flooding, but how much water was going on top of your house when it's raining that much as well. And so many people just have their downspouts draining right near their structure and that's all flowing around there. Yeah, the grading within at least six feet of your house should all slightly slope away. Um, that's huge too. And you know, some people are in a neighborhood where there's a massive hill that comes right at their house. It's not feasible to have it all sloping away. Um, usually, and these aren't cheap fixes, but uh, a waterproofing membrane on the outside of your foundation is often required. Um, as well as, you know, even if everything's sloping towards the back of your house like this, you can then have it graded so it's going to the sides of the house and not just all of that water building up on the back side of your house. But what you were saying with uh, sump pumps, yeah, I see like 25 year old sump pumps that people are like, oh, it still works. I'm like, well, okay, it, yeah, it triggered on here, but this thing is gunked up, it's rusted. Um, when this thing's running hard for 10 hours during the next uh, flooding, um, that's not when you want it to conk out. Um, most people wait way too long to replace things like a sump pump just because it's not a, they don't see it as a useful item. They're not interacting with it like they are with their AC and their furnace and stuff. It kind of does its own thing, but it's an extremely important item. Um, and most people never have their drainage tiles and their sewers uh, scoped as well. 